What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you saw in the last episode, if you watched it, we were working on the hitch and the rear fender. And so what I have turned to now is still on the rear fender, but what I want to do is I cut the gas door out of the Crown Vic. And what I am going to try to do is install that into our coronet fender. So, the first issue I've ran into, the fuel filler neck here, from the Crown Vic, I loosen, there's one screw right there that holds it in. So loosen that, loosen, there's a quick connect fitting for this vent line, disconnected that, and then the fuel filler neck pulled out. And the reason I'm doing that, I have to shorten this part at least probably a couple inches. And the reason is, there's this plastic box that sits back behind the filler door, and that's what connects down to the filler neck down in there with a couple of screws, and it's got the um, mechanism there, and then part of the latch fits in behind that. And with this, bolts on to the end of the filler neck and it sticks out too far and doesn't allow the fender to go on far enough. So I'm going to attempt, I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna to attempt to shorten this part a couple inches and I'm not sure about this too. I have to figure that one out. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on this. All right, so I started off by cutting the filler neck and the vent line apart. They were either brazed or welded together. So with the angle grinder, I was really careful to cut in between the two to get them to separate without cutting into either tube. So started with that and then cut the filler neck in half. So as you saw, I got the tube here cut and shortened it up and I tack welded it in place. And I did some measuring and estimating on where I think this should end up. And it's kind of hard to see, but I've marked out on the back of the fender here um, where this should land. So we'll probably go ahead and get this cut out and hopefully it's close to fitting. So we got our hole all cut out and trimmed to fit the piece here pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and get it tacked into place. So I got the fuel filler door patch panel all welded in. See it welded in here. Um, I definitely warped it. Um, I TIG welded it all around here and definitely warped it 
a lot more than I like. Um, so in the future, I'm going to have to make sure I'm a little more careful with it, with doing that. Um, if I'm doing thin sheet metal, sheet metal like this, uh, I'm definitely not an expert still learning on doing this. So, But I got it, after some time, got it ground down where it's pretty decent. We've got definitely some waves in here, which I may still try to hammer some more of that out and get it halfway decent. But otherwise than that, I'm decently happy. So what I'm going to try to do now, let me set you up here. I have this round steel rod. It's actually a shaft out of a trimmer. So what I'm going to try to do is basically make, sorry if I tilt you down here so you can see, um, I'd like to make, run this all along the edge of the fender, something like that. Um, keep it in just a little bit from the edge and then tack it into place along the fender here. And, and then go along with a hammer and kind of curl the edge around that to give kind of a nice radius um, all along the panel and then up over the fender as well and also give a little more structure and rigidity back into the panel. Um, so what I'll probably try to do here is um, tack in place or um, take a torch and heat areas and see how well it bends and then get it to match the shape of the fender here. So that's probably the next thing I'll be working on. And then I also have to still um, fill the old hole where the original fiddle neck was. So I'll probably cut a, a piece of sheet metal out, uh, a round piece, and then weld that in there on the other side to get that covered up. So let's do it. So this gives you an idea of what I was thinking. Um, I heated it with a torch, just bent it around the contour here, and uh, it's not perfect, but we'll get it. So what I think I'll do, I'll start um, probably tacking here. I'm not sure. I might try to bend this first. Then I'll start tacking it along here and kind of bend it and uh, shape it as I go.
Well, I have never done that before, so I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I am actually really happy with that. Um, it might be a little hard to tell on camera, but the uh, there's a lot of hammering, arms tired, uh, but it put a really nice little radius there, all along there. I think it gives a really nice factory look. Yeah, I'd say that's a success. As you saw, I did have to go back through and weld a little more. Um, when I started hammering on it, it popped some of the tacks loose, so went back and retacked it a couple times, and uh, yeah, just kind of hammered it along there. So I'll get more of the rod to finish this at both ends. So awesome, I'm happy. All right, good morning. It's been a uh, couple days since I was working on the fender. We have a uh, different project in the shop which was needed the lift bay, so the coronet is back outside and we've had some rain, so I threw the car cover on it. So I have the fender just kind of sitting in place at the moment. Got this all welded in, and I do have a couple little holes I'll probably have to fill in yet. Then some body filler, um, take care of some of these waves here. So that's how the fender's kind of where it's currently at. Uh, you saw obviously we put that radius in there, so we'll have to finish that. Um, so yeah, that's that's all the work that I got done for this week. Um, I am rethinking the the rear fender just a little bit, and the reason is um, obviously I've been building the fenders and everything around the current Crown Vic wheels that I've got. However, I'm rethinking that idea a little bit. Um, I may I may be getting a a, a new wheel, just maybe one for now, so I can do some mock-up. Um, and it's both a bigger and a wider wheel. And the reason that I may do it at the moment, obviously the fender is not finalized at this point. I can still move it out, um, you know, move it out where I want and, and change it for the time being. So, um, these may not end up being the final wheels for now. Uh, they are staying steel wheels. They just might be bigger, to give you a little hint. Um, I love the look of big steelies, and I, I think that would look really cool for kind of looking the theme I'm going with. So I might be doing so a little more modifying and changing, and it might get widened even a little bit more. So we'll see. Obviously, I will keep you guys filled in on that. So uh, that I'm going to end it there for this week as always. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode.